Okay. So this is like interface or uh, I'll advise everyone key. Uh, you can work with my like this session itself. Like I'll guide everything from the basic like what you have and you can uh, do with along with it by hearing it. Okay. So if you would like to start. You can start it too. OK, so for this uh, we have this interface uh, like in workshop. We also talked about this and if you first of all, we have to open an image. It's, uh, like it's obvious. Let's open something from here file. And I have got some images, uh, pre-installed images, which will be helpful for ours. And we named it tool for Photoshop because uh, in this field go through some of the basics uh, like toolbar, menu bar and all. Uh, ke liye, if you see this, uh, the issue at the like everyone faces this particular issue that uh it's this is possible that you will have something like this or for instance your toolbar isn't here yeah so you will have something like this or anything possible reason uh, it can happen to anyone so don't panic and just go through this place if you can see a window here in window you will see that there are a bunch of options which you can get and here this sidebar that's on the left side it's called toolbar right so we'll just Hit on tool presets. Instead of tools, we'll have tool tools, right? So just click on it and you will get your thing back. And how to get it attached as earlier, put it here and have, right? And uh, this, when there are different uh, like processes, there are different uh, types of opening up a file. Uh, you can have it as tabs or instead you can have as windows. Click it. So this is like opening image or about all that. And first of all, the most important thing about Photoshop is uh, the important aspect of using Photoshop is that you can actually work on uh, work non destructively because destruction means like uh, in most of the other photo like photo editing softwares and all you will see that you will work directly on the image instead of uh, like layers and all. So you, you can see that this part of this section is called layers. Even if you are not having this, you can get it uh, as I've told you, like window and go to here, like layers, right? And yeah, this is about the layers. And what what's the importance of layer? You can see that I have created a new layer. And how I created is just, you can see that there's a plus symbol at the right bottom corner. And you can say create new layer. And instead, you can also uh, use some, some of the basics, uh, like basics shortcuts, which you can go through and uh, like mm, moving on. And you will have some of the tools. We can go around this for now because this is like introductory session in some sense. So we'll just go around it. If you can see, like whenever you hover around the uh, like tools which we have, then you can see that you'll see a bunch of in the latest version about 2019. The reason being that I told to get installed in 2018 post will have some of the basic features which are pretty much like interesting. You can see that you will have your shortcut keys visible here only. And uh, you can see like this is move tool. Move tool does what does move tool is actually uh, this is a lock to, uh, like if you click on it and you want to move it. You also like this is not moving. The reason being that this layer which you want to move is actually locked. So how do we remove the lock is just click on it twice or like single time you will click on it and now the move tool can be activated. Yeah. And the reason being uh, of using tools uh, like this layers is the advantage that you can actually work on different layers and uh, like you can uh, anytime reverse your uh, like work which you did earlier. And here you have market tool. We will go through all these uh, like as we proceed. So like this is market tool. This helps us to get a selection um, generally in rectangular form because this is a rectangle and control uh, like M. This is a shortcut which is called M. And you have elliptical tool as the names are just all different ideas you can get from it. And this, these bunch of uh, like tools these three are for these two are for selection. These three from like second, third, fourth is called lasso tool and like quick selection tool. These are based on AI. Like the, they are artificial thing. 
they will do their work itself themselves uh, and here you have crop you have perspective we'll go through them as we proceed and we'll have eyedropper truth as you can see uh, in the latest version that you will see that what it actually does is like uh, cast the color which you want to select and the, there these are like a spot healing brush tool clone tool clone stamp tool these are for removing anything here you have brush you here you have gradient and eraser as you can see here and smudge tool and different stuff like text tool and all but most of the time we'll be using for like as uh, from as far as like design is concerned is like creating any poster is concerned you will just require this simple these things from these top five and text tool and gradient and all we'll work on that uh, all together yeah this is called tools tools bar toolbar this is called menu bar and like this is basic things which you even you don't know that doesn't matter just for namesake and whenever you click on a tool you will see that these are a bunch of options which you get and these are advanced uh, options and here you have like advanced option two and now what about layers so the reason being that we are using layers and photoshop is that instead of a jpeg file jpeg is the basic file which we use is uh, you can't actually change the layers and here if you just suppose like you want to remove this uh, if you can see for zooming in you will use control plus and it uh, it can be done using uh, control plus or you can use magnifying tool but preferable is control plus and control zero to fit the screen right control zero control plus control minus yeah you can see that you want to remove this uh, like black rod thing so what we will do is actually go through this space and we have to like remove and i told we can remove different uh, like stuffs from and our image or layers we can use uh, these bunch of uh, like spot healing brush or clone stamp for now we are using spot healing let's suppose we are using this huh uh, and how uh, i'm like increasing its size you can use actually the colon uh, is like a brackets the curly bracket uh, keys you can use for the right one for right curly bracket increase the size of it and from left you can decrease it and just do it here uh, for uh, yeah and also you can see that this image which we created is a completely uh, like empty layer you don't have anything and these are eyes if you use this particular thing and whole things the whole of the layer becomes invisible because being uh, this layer is actually uh, like empty layer it doesn't have anything so when you um, the, the the layer which is beneath it if you like hide it you will see that there's nothing here so we can uh, create a like duplicate layer of this and how we can use it is actually click on it drag it to here the plus sign which we have been talking about and here you can see that there's a layer zero copy or instead you can use control j um, which is a shortcut to um, like yeah and now i'm we i want to remove this so how i'm going to use this this spot healing brush and put it here and this is not the uh, like session for spot healing. We'll cover it in the later classes. And this is just uh, for a brief overview, you can say. Yeah, you can see that I'm removing this from here and here. Yeah. This might take some time because if you want to clean a poly, you have to precise thing, precise process. You can see that I'm just removing all these. Huh? In some sense, we can have we have remote, but for like uh, clear picture, we, it will take some time because you'll have it needs to be precise. You can see that smaller or anything like that. Let's decrease the size. Yeah, but the advantage of layers is if this was a destructive layer, as I was telling, like uh, any basic uh, like, uh, software editing tools like GIMP and all, you don't have layers. But what's the advantage of layers is that if you want to hide this layer on which I've removed that, but at some point you want to have it back, then what will we do is uh, like you will be in dilemma that how I'm going to get that. So what you will do is just click on this I button and the layer which is beneath that is uh, will be visible instead of that. As you can see. Hide and hide, hide and hide. You can see that uh, we can actually get the idea like what does a layer which whichever layer is at the top it will be visible and with this i sign open okay 
and now we want to save this uh, image then there are different processes in any photoshop file uh, like the in the general use you can see that there is a .psd file that's .tiff file .tiff file and .psd files are the only uh, like uh, presets or components of the images which will have images as layers like these which can be edit uh, editable as at any point of time it can be edited and but we want to have it as a like compressed in which layers are like compressed and you have things something like top view from it and because if i save it as file and save as there are a bunch of options which we can go through uh, after this image like save as save on your computer save to cloud documents if you are having uh, adobe cloud uh, like adobe creative cloud you can save it on cloud but for now it's save on your computer and here we downloads put it here and you will have you will see that there are a bunch of options but generally we use photo psd jpeg like this one J, jpg the general use and the png file png files will discuss later on yeah jpeg and save and uh, you can see the bunch of options like this a size you will want to have the resolution medium maximum and all other stuff so you will click on okay yeah and what about this thing which we saved i have saved it here if i click uh, click on it you will see that this is a jpeg for jpg file and let it open and you will see the difference between a dot psd file because this is a dot psd file on which we are working you can see like the there are two layers but when i saved it as a jpg file then there was just single uh, layer which got it compressed right the difference is that only so this was all about opening and and if you want to save it as photoshop like dot psd file you can actually go through file save as and save on a computer the same process and dot psd file downloads save okay and open it again from file control loop the, the basic uh, um, shortcuts which is used everywhere you will see that this is a file open yeah this is the file which i saved you can see like this is dot psd file this is dot jpeg file if i want to have it here and it here as desktop instead of tabs you can see that the difference is both of the images are, are identical but the difference is here i have this only layer i can't do anything about that but if i want to save this image and have my like that bed rod in the bed corner back i can have it by just unhiding it and save as again with the process which i told us control and like file save as and like jpeg file or png file whichever you want okay so this was all about the first part of like opening a file and like basic overview of this yeah and now the what about layers as i was talking about layers this is not all, all about it we will have a bunch of different kinds of like kind of settings and different type of layers which you can find in photoshop and i'll save it as like save changes over i'll click on no because i don't want it and let's open new file and i want to have this file let's say for understanding layers and masks and you can uh, go through it once because i'll upload all these images in the drive or like share it with you and uh, let's suppose that you want to have something uh, particular uh, like tool which you want to use but you can't find actually uh, anything here and tools or anything but you will just go through on help go to about photoshop let's suppose like you want to have gradient tool like help go to photoshop help and find whatever like discover you want to have gradient let's suppose i type gradient hit gradient like enter and i want to have gradient too so you can see when i uh, like put my uh, cursor here you can see like where is gradient tool like layer and you will fill layer you can get it from there if you are having some like hard time to find any tool a particular tool gradient tool gradient tool is here and gradients are windows you can see find uh, at different places right and now i'm i was talking about layers so the uh, advantage of layers so we talked about let's suppose like i want to have something uh, like uh, we want to understand the uses of layers in photoshop the, there are three or four kinds of layers but the most of the used things are uh, used type of layers are actually the common layer 
which I told you about, we can get it from here, create a new layer, like the normal layer in some sense you can say, I want to have a copy. It's just hit control G. Okay, yeah, we have control G. And there, the other layer which you have in Photoshop is adjustment layer. If you can see like there is a circle, which is, uh, which is some different from other uh, like components here. This is a circle and this is called uh, adjustment layer. Other than that, we have this uh, like layer mask and uh, and also we have clipping mask, which we will like look at it in that at this point only. Yeah. So now let's suppose that I want to edit this image in in different ways. I have a new layer. Let's suppose that this is like this orange. I want to convert it into green or something. So what I'll do is you can see that this is a brush. For brush, we have a, a shortcut, which is B, simple B. You can see like this is B. And now I, you can see like this is a like huge brush. I, I don't want it that much. You can actually go through at the curly bracket, which I told about. You can see like I'm decreasing its size. Or instead, the best, like the fastest way which you can do is hold control, alt. Let's go and on. Mm -hmm. yeah, leave it uh, like you can go and right click, but is right click. And you can see like there's a different uh, sort of brushes which you can find it like soft round, hard round. For now, we are going to use soft round. Let's suppose like soft round or hard round and decrease the size from here. Size, let's suppose I have something around 81. And these are all about pixels. We'll discuss in, in the later stages. And uh, the hardness is at zero uh, percent okay and i want to have this um, orange thing into green so what will how i'm going to do that you can see like there are two different color palettes there is, um, in the foreground as in the name suggests like foreground color and the background color this is the color which i'm going to use click on it yeah and you will see this is if you roam around here by uh, like having left click on your mouse and you you can see like that this is my uh, current state of color. The the original one is here, and the new which I'm going to select is here. So how I'm going to use my green color? Let's suppose I want green color, and you can see that different uh, like processes can be used as we can see in different softwares. Okay, like this is basic. Okay, and now I want to uh, color this this particular uh, like citrus or anything which is it okay and i want to color it let's suppose increase the opacity you can see that we have opacity flow so i want to increase its opacity let's suppose i want it 100 percent and i am coloring it up okay color it up and using it roughly to understand the use of layers You can see that this is a layer which I colored. If I uh, like switch it off, you can see and control zero to fit in the interface. You can see whenever I hide it, uh, like use it, this I button, like I symbol, you can see the advantage of this, right? The layers. And I want to increase, like, I wanted to change the color of that, uh, like citrus, lime, or orange, whatever it is. and uh, this is like blending options, which uh, which we will discuss like thoroughly in the deep uh, as we move on. And you can just try it yourself, try it out yourself. Like whenever I, I have different type of sort of blending options, these are the pretty much used. Most of the time we use this darken, multiply the top two, light screen and, and your. For now we are going to use something, let's suppose hue. You can see that we have this green. Uh, like line and but this is too dark so what will we do is just go to opacity of this layer instead of the brush we are going to uh, decrease this uh, like opacity of this particular layer by just here yeah this looks fine right so we have this if i want to have it i'm like uh, indifferent the the order of layer matters because if i put it below my background layer because this is locked you can't actually put anything below this layer 
so just uh, unlock it by clicking it uh, on any layer once which is like background layer and if i drag it below my background layer you will see that even though i have created that layer and ch made changes in that particular layer but instead because of the reason that it is below my like the most visible layer at the top this thing become uh, we can't see actually that thing like the green line which we created but if i click on it left and drag it by holding it in the left click and put it at the top you will see like we are having what we created yes you can see that and now let's suppose like i want to create an like uh, for instance i want to have this line here too so what will i do is go to layer 0 like layer 0 is my background and how we can rename it by clicking double double tap on it double tap on the layer whichever you want to rename it and let's suppose like this is my background and rename it again this one and let's suppose it's green and the advantage of renaming all your uh, like layers because when this is like a basic uh, at this point we are at the basic level but whenever you will be uh, dealing with a lot of layers at some point you will have something around 40 50 layers then it will be pretty hard to like get hold of like what layer was all about so it's it's better to rename it everything and this is green and background so i wanted to create uh like this particular um what is it orange let's suppose uh, let me call it orange only and i want to have it in my uh, like a new layer i want to have a copy here so what will i do as i've told that this these are used for selection go to here right click like this is quick selection tool if you right click on it whenever you see the these things like at the right bottom corner of any tool if you see uh, like a dot thing or something like that whenever you right click on it you will see a bunch of another options which is like hidden behind that and when you click on it it becomes visible like it comes at the top so i'm going to use quick selection tool as the name suggests this will help me to get the selection pretty quick okay you can see by using the curly brackets i am decreasing and increasing sizes and and i want to like get precise selection control plus and select it select it here here like i have selected it in some sense yeah and now i have selected it and i want to have control zero to fit the screen sorry so uh, uh yeah what is saying uh, like we want to have the selection uh, in on the left side let's suppose we want i want to have it on the left side too so control c to have my selection control c control v okay so uh, whenever you control c and control v that copy and paste to the selection at that point if you you'll see that i can't actually defer like what uh, i did actually so if you uh, hide this background layer you will see that my selection is here which is at the top and i want to have it at the top because uh, in, like uh, above that green layer which i created earlier and hold it on the left click and put it here at the top and i want to move it in the left right any position and we can use actually move tool which has a shortcut v i use v and click on the layer make sure that you are on that particular because if i'm on bg like let's suppose i'm background and i use move tool then the my background moves instead of my like particular area which i wanted to move and for control like this is uh, at point we want to have my thing undo so what we use the particular uh, software which has which is control z you can see i have my thing back but uh, make sure that in, in photoshop we don't have control y as our redo option instead we have control shift and z control shift and z right this is a redo and control z undo redo undo yeah like that's a pretty game and okay like control t i want to move it uh, like resize it so i will just put put control t and what does control t do is like transformation of an image transformation is something which we will discuss and control t yeah, you can see I have my copy here, but this and the selection is not pretty clear. You can see rough edges and all. So I put it here, like left um, tick mark, which we have having at that point. 
and control T again just to put it at the best place. I'm having that layer my as my point. I'm like at this point control T and when you right click on it uh, on that particular layer which we have like used for transformation you can see that like, we have a bunch of options like free transform scale rotate skew distort perspective warp and all and what does warp do if you click on it warp you will see we have some of the markers which can be used to actually as the name says warp it up distorts a distorted shape or something we can see yeah and we have click on click on it and control t again to resize it or anything no matter of fact and for move it here i want to have it here somewhere have move tool have it here control plus for zooming in and because if you, you can see that i don't have a uh, like particular uh, precise selection you can say so at this point we'll need a uh, layer mask and how we can get that is so we we can actually get it from here you can see that there's a rectangle which has a circle in that you can click on it add layer mask okay you have added something here and and how, what do we use in layer mask is actually as uh, just understand by black whenever is anything in selection in layer mask whenever something is in black that thing won't be like visible to us and the white thing only will be visible so for and how we can change the color of that particular like which we talked about go to brush yes we have brush and uh, like i want to invert because i said that black will um, like conceal anything which we wanted to like hide or something so we can actually use x x is a shortcut for like, inverting the color between foreground and background at the left bottom corner you can see so you can also have this here like switch foreground and background colors this arrow thingy you and click x and you will have black at the top so what will i do with my brush is actually in the i have activated my layer mask I'm at this point I'm at my layer and at this point I'm at, um, like my, at my layer mask. So I have my brush. I'll change the settings somewhere around size and whatever would be required. Reduce its size. And you can see with what is layer mask doing. Hmm? If you can follow pretty short. I'm saying, yeah. Because uh, this this is not a like really precise selection, which because we'll fall um, we'll cover it in in the next week. Yeah, we'll cover it next week properly because that can be too much like overwhelming for you because uh, like handling layers separate of in the initial part of learning phase, right? So we have our citrus fruit with a copy okay. and control zero to fit in screen control t and reduce the size for re reducing the size uh, when i put control t like the transformation of image i could put like i have used control t and for reducing the size you can see the different markers are there just left click drag and let me put it here somewhere yeah i have it okay you can see i have a copy of this particular um, like as a layer but what if i have selected i made changes in this layer mask and the, the advantage of using layer mask instead of using an eraser because we could have actually used uh, like an eraser and remove the excess uh, um, excess selection which we made by mistake but uh, advantage of layer mask is at any point you want to have your selection back which you removed by mistake. Let's suppose I have my black activated and my brush tool here. And let's suppose like I'm talking to someone and have it my, uh, like this mistake at any point. So what do we do is if this was an eraser, you will have to draw it again, or at least you can see like at max, you can do control Z like for random, like for redo. Okay, control shift set for un like redo and undo, which I told. So now i want to have it back so instead of control z i can have it back by using switching the colors from foreground background by using x and color it again 
if I had it black, you can see at the left bottom corner, if I had black, it will remove. And if I have white, it will reveal the selection, reveal, reveal my layer actually. Okay, you can have it, right? And let's suppose I don't want to have it all together, like this uh, layer mask, the changes which I made, and how do we uh, like disable the layer mask? Just click shift and click on uh, like shift and click on the layer mask. Yeah. You can see I have disabled my um, like the changes which I made for the selection. And you can see we have that uh, not so precise selection back. And I want to have that again, click shift and put it uh, tap on that and you'll have your selection back the precise not so precise but better than that and let's suppose like i was talking about the adjustment layer and what is the adverse adjustments layer use is actually uh go to uh, my background layer and let's suppose i want to have my adjustment adjustment layer is tongue just straight sir yeah sorry so yeah and we have adjustment layer and i want to have it in black and like black and white you can see you can you see here's we have black and white Click on it, and you can see that uh, we have our adjust like adjustment layer as it can be said to be having a something effect or something like that. We uh, and uh, you can see since my mm, like this selection of citrus fruit is at the top of the layer, instead of that, re um, everything is black and white, and that thing is only orange. But I want to have that as black and white too. So what will I do? I just hold my layer and put it at the top. Yes. You can see that this adjustment layer has impacted all the layers, which is below that. Okay. And let's suppose I wanted to have this particular thing as black, like desaturated in terms of like photography. You can see that desaturated. Desaturation means like you don't have color. Okay. So what we can do is actually go to that adjustment layer, adjustment layer, and click on it right. You can see this is an option called create clipping mask. So what does create clipping mask do is anything which is just below this layer, particular adjustment layer just below this, it will impact that particular layer only instead of the whole of the like bunch of layers which we're having at the bottom. Click on it and have a create clipping. Okay, you can see when I click on create clipping mask, this particular layer, which is this, the, the copy of that citrus here, that is that has been impacted and the other things are as it is because uh, you can see if i switch it off right okay you can see the effect of create clipping mask if i want to remove that clipping mask you can either hold alt you can see hold alt whenever you hold alt and go like between two layers in which like the clipping mask has been applied you can see this particular, if you can see this symbol, click on left click, have a left click, and the clipping mask has been removed. And to have it back, you can use it either control Z or redo, like undo, sorry, and uh, have it like we want to have that again thing, alt, and between layers, this. This was all about adjustment layer. You will have, we'll discuss it in the later stages. Uh, there are a bunch of different things which we can actually use as we move on. So for now, let's suppose I want to have a text tool because uh, at any point of time, at least you will use text tool. For, uh, let's suppose, let's say that you want to create a poster or something like that. You will need a text tool actually, right? So go to text tool. You can see here, it's uh, too significant that this is text tool in capital T. Okay, and this is uh, one type of layer itself because we have discussed a uh, new layer, adjustment layer, clipper, clipping mask, and layer mask. These are type of layers, and we have another type of uh, layer which is called text text layer. I have my text tool activated. Click on it anywhere, wherever you want. Okay, you can see this is so small, like it's not even visible. I am zooming in control plus plus. Okay, you can see lorem epsom. It's something Greek or anything. It doesn't matter really. So uh, I want to increase the size of my text. So what we can do is actually just add my advanced option clear. You can see it's at 24 point. I want to make it 72. 
doesn't matter because uh, that's too small at this point only. So what we do is actually just go to this uh, like properties panel and you can see this character thing. Click on it, character. And you can see uh, because we were having this 72 point up to 72 point size. So we can actually have a lot more than that here because double tap on it. Control A, let's suppose, and I want to have it around, let's suppose 500 points size and hit end. Okay, we'll have it. And you want to change the uh, like the different fonts which we have, a bunch of fonts which you can have. First of all, let me change the color. Have it white only. Yeah. I want to have something like bold type of font. You can find eventually different type because add uh, add uh, default uh, settings. Photoshop has uh, like limited set of fonts which they have. So let's suppose I have a font called the bold font which I want to use. Okay. And hit on the stick mark. So. I'm yeah, I'm here and I want to uh, transform it because as I was saying, control T. Control T helps us to change the like the shape and the position instead of move to click enter and, and uh, like as I was saying like text tool, whenever you have text tool selected, your selected uh, like whichever your text tool is, you hover around it and click on that text. And that, that text can be edited instead of going like Control Z because I wanted to write something else. And here we have this. Just click on it and write. Let's suppose I want to write uh, lemon. Okay. But this is like too close. So what I was saying that the advantage of properties is you go on it, Control A to select all the layers. I have add my character. This is if you don't have it, you can go to Windows and have it from here character character types and all so i want to increase the dip, like increase the distance between two like consecutive alphabets so how i can do is just go to here and see like this symbol suppose i have it something around 200 points no that's too much suppose for, for, uh, like 75 okay that sounds fine and have it increase our size to 600 points Hit enter and okay and i want to move it here something uh around here. okay so this is our text tool which we wanted to have it but now what about uh, these pomegranates like pomegranate uh, like grains which we're having at this point and, and want to remove uh, our alphabet from here. So as I was saying, like, what is the advantage of layer mask? If I want to re um, like remove that, either I can use uh, this eraser, but it will be destructive. Destructive means uh, my layer will be required to go in trash. If this thing like this layer becomes, it will be unusable. So uh, what I will do is uh, select my layer mask, the like text mask, and have a layer mask okay and the brush will have brush from here which we can get by p or clicking on the tool option and x for covering like toggling between the color foreground and background colors and i want to remove this if you can see that i want i can zoom in remove it something right you can see that. Okay. And I want to remove this too. Mm -hmm. Right. I suppose uh, this is too much, then I can X have X uh, alphabet used and toggle the foreground background color to have it Y and reveal that, which I removed by, by mistake. Okay. is too precise thing so we can it can be done later on too so yeah i think this is fine it's usable and control zero to fit in screen you can see i have my lemon written here ah, control z for undo 
So I have my lemon written over here and it looks fine. But what about if I want to have shadows here? So let's have a new layer. I want to have shadows. So what will shadows do? Just go to brush, have a color. I want to change my foreground, like foreground color, have it here. Let's suppose I want to have for shadows, have something black. And instead of that, we can have shadows, like color pick the shadows from here. And how we can do that actually, hold alt while, have, while having brush, like I'm having brush as my tool at this moment, hold alt. If you have alt, you will see whenever I, uh, this will help me to get color from anywhere. Okay, let's suppose I have this. Okay, so I've selected that particular color from there and it can be used. And have this new layer at the top and color it. But if you'll see that this is too much, and because the reason being that this layer is at the top, everything below that it will be hidden. This is at the top layer. This is happening. So what will I do? I put it below this lemon layer I created. So I'll have it. Okay. So you can see the color which I changed has been uh, like has been put under this uh, text layer which I'm having. But I will use it as shadows. So we just have a create like we can create it as clipping mask because that layer can will be activated on that this layer the text tool which is below that. Right click, go to create clipping mask. Okay. So you can see we have uh, this gray color which we used only on this particular layer, which is the text. And but this doesn't seem like a shadow, so we can use blending options, which we'll discuss thoroughly. And you can see different bunch of shadow we can use for shadow. Let's suppose have it dark, decrease the opacity. Have a, like this was a hard round, hard round brush, so that you can. That's why you can see like this is uh, like, not. This is not looking like a shadow in any way. So I have soft, soft round. Decrease the opacity from here. Okay, and increase the size by curly braces, like curly brackets. Sorry, and have it. And I want to have it a bit darker. I'll use like the toggle color by X, either X or by that symbol. Instead, use X and I will reduce the opacity a bit more and color it here. And we are done. Yeah. And the reason of having this particular layer at the top, that the advantage is if I had this black and white layer, let's suppose this is my black and layer color, like the adjustment is at the third number, and I have it at the top. Okay. What's happening? So, what's the time? 254. Okay, so I was saying that this is uh, at the top of the layer. I'm having black and white. If I want to, the advantage, the, the importance of layer ordering is very important. Photoshop in some way we can say that. So just I hide it, and we have our thing which we did. This doesn't look really good. Okay, so that's it for now. I feel. So yeah, this was all about layers and like basics. We will discuss in the next week pretty much. And even also moreover, some of the people are having clashes with the content writing sessions. So first of all, I'd like to have a proper time so that we don't have that thing again. This earlier, this was planned to nine. So like 755.
you can say anything like regarding the timing if you want to or any questions because abhi tak to question type we haven't discussed anything like that 